EDC, everyday carry. People love these things. I don't know why, but I figured I'd do one anyway. So let's let's just do it. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason. Sometimes known as the JTL. This is painfully on a sack. Text no one It hurts. And yes, I know I'm wearing sun I'm wearing sunglasses. And I'm gonna tell you why. There, there's a reason why I'm wearing the sunglasses right now. The reason is my dog chewed up my other glasses. <laughs> And then he chewed up my backup pair of glasses. And so I can still see out of them, but not really well. I'll show you. I'll show you. They're all chewed up. They're all just chewed up. Maybe you can't see. Yeah. Now you can see. Look at that. They're all bent. Out of whack. It's just a mess. So, wearing sunglasses. Don't like it. Get over it. Okay? Here we go. So let's talk about this everyday carry thing. I, I don't know like what my everyday, I guess my everyday carry has been pretty much the same for a pretty long time. Uh, I don't do fancy stuff. I don't do anything that's like out of the ordinary. Everything that I talk about here that's possibly possible to be linked will be linked in the, in the, description down below so you can go and check some of this stuff out if you're interested in doing that but i just figured i'd walk through and show you guys the stuff that i have and uh why and talk to you about why i have it and what it's all about and and then you know maybe it's interesting to you. so let's just go ahead and, and like do that all right, so here we have laid out my everyday carry. Uh, you know, some things, like these couple of things are sort of optional over here. Uh, the, we've got the Ridge Wallet, which I got from Amazon uh, a few months back. I, I like it okay. I like it pretty well. I like the, the profile of it. I like that it's small. It's a little fiddly to get things out of, but, I, but uh, the Ridge Wallet right here, I got it from Amazon. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's just, you push it out this way and it, and it like folds out your cards. And you can put, I don't know, I think I've got six or seven cards in here. So, so you know, it's a, it's a pretty good thing. It's a pretty pretty good look. If you don't want to carry a big wallet, then this is good. I mean, you know, after you carry a wallet in your, like, your left hip pocket for a while, you know, your, your butt kind of gets a groove in it from the wallet. So, Ridge Wallet has solved that problem for me. And, uh, it's, and, and it's black. Matte black, I like that. So... The next thing here, of course, is my iPhone 11 Pro, right? iPhone 11 Pro, I've been working on uh, some different, I guess, different organizational strategies for my iPhone. I've got up along here the stuff that I need to use every day, mail, notes, Trello, which I use to organize myself, and of course, calendar, camera, settings down here. Everything else in here is in a is in its own little folder. Like I've got read, so we've got you know a couple of news things. We've got Kindle, we got comic books, and you know YouTube uh, of course has some different things that I use for YouTube related things, and then you know, so, social media. Uh, you get it. Uh, Twitter's over here because I just put it back on my. <laughs> Just put it back on my phone because I took it off my phone there for a while. Uh, I have Plex here. This is my media stuff, which got a video coming on Plex very soon. Been using Plex now for a while, and so um, really, really like it. It has become my media go-to. So, so basically, everything is categorized here in the in the iPhone so that I can generally find it. I just it's been a week. And I'm still not very good at finding what I'm looking for. So uh, I think I need to keep trying. Um, but yeah, iPhone 11 Pro, it's got the, uh, it's got the silicone uh, Apple branded case, which I like a great deal. It's thin, it's light, it's grippy, it's all the things. Uh, it's held up pretty well in the couple of months that I've had the phone. So I like it quite a bit. Uh, this is from an old car mount that I don't use anymore because uh, it broke. Yeah course space gray iphone 11 pro looking really nice looking really slick uh and i'm i'm just happy that i have it what is this over here this is of course the lg v50 this is the other phone that i have this it, this this phone is fantastic and i think i'm about ready to switch back into this phone i just i had i have it i haven't used it for a little while i think i'm ready to get back into it but lg v50 128 gigabytes, 5G, which doesn't make any difference. Uh, expandable memory, 
I love this phone. Uh, the best thing about this phone is this right here. This right here, people. See it? Look at it right there. Oh, yeah. Headphone jack. Not just any headphone jack, but a really good headphone jack. Moving from uh, right to left beside my iPhone, you will see my, my Sharpie. <sighs> the reason that I carry a Sharpie almost everywhere has a lot to do with back in the days when I, uh, when I was doing the music thing. I was playing live shows quite a bit. The Sharpie was the most necessary piece of, of everyday gear for everyone. And, uh, and I've just gotten into the habit of having one around, having one with me. I think I probably have like 50 of them lying around the house all over the place. Uh, you can get a little, get a little stoned if you want to off the, off the Sharpie. And it was good for writing out set lists. It was good for signing CDs. It was good for just about anything that you would need to write in that scenario. If you were a sound man, you could write out the, the channels and, and all that kind of stuff on the soundboard. So I always carry a Sharpie. And that's what I've got right here. Moving over, you'll see here that I've got an iPad. This is the 9.7 inch iPad iPad. It's just the iPad, uh, 32 gigabytes of storage. And, uh, and, and, and yeah, so this is the one from 2018 that just got replaced recently. I don't need any more iPad than this. This is the iPad that I need. So let's open it up. Come on there. I read on this. See, I read on this. This is what I do. 90% of everything that I do on the iPad is read. Well, not, maybe not 90%, but a lot of what I do on the iPad is read. But of course, I, I have other things too, like like I can I handwrite notes sometimes. I handwrite notes. So it's my signature if you ever want to try and forge it. Uh, I don't recommend it, though. So one thing that I do with this is I, I use a, a matte screen protector on here. It's a, it's a screen protector from a company called paper like, and as the name says, <laughs> they make, uh, they make screen protectors that make the, the iPad feel more paper like. So there's a little bit more resistance, a little bit more drag on the iPad so that it's a little bit easier to write. I take notes on this. I, do journaling on this. I do just about everything there is to do. I, I'm a. If you don't know, if you don't know, I am. I, I, I'm a writer by trade, uh, or at least I was before I quit my job. Um, writer and teacher by trade. So having an iPad to mark up, uh, mark up papers, mark up stories, mark up the stuff that I was looking at for the literary journal that I published, all those kinds of things. It was really important to have this iPad. I had an iPad 11 Pro, but I found that like I didn't need that much iPad. I didn't need $900,000 worth of iPad because all I was doing was taking notes, reading stuff, watching some YouTube, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so, so I got this. And of course, it uses the original Apple Pencil, which isn't quite as nice as the, the new Apple Pencil, but I like it. I like it pretty well. Yeah, it feels it does feel really nice to type on this paper like thing. So I recommend doing that. Uh, now, let's move over here. Over here, we have AirPods Pro. Uh, these are actually uh, fake AirPods Pro because not only did my dog chew up my glasses, but my dog also chewed up my AirPods Pro. I need to get a new AirPods Pro case because it won't connect to my phone right anymore. So right now, standing in its stead from the company Nakis is uh, is AirPods Pro clone uh, that actually sound really good. Um, and, you know, they don't have noise canceling or anything like that, but they, they're a nice headphone for the $99 that they're asking for. Uh, so, so they're standing in there, but AirPods Pro is what would be there instead. Uh, yeah. What do we have here? This is a Swiss Army knife. And if I remember correctly, I got this Swiss Army knife when I graduated from high school, uh, which was 
30, 30 years ago, I graduated from high school. And I've had it ever since. I haven't carried it with me everywhere all the time, but I've recently sort of dug it out and I've been carrying it around and having it. Mostly it stays around the desk here. It stays around the desk and what I, I, I just use it for regular desk things. I use it to open up boxes. You can see there's, there's like tape goo on there that I probably need to clean off. Um, it's got just screwdriver can opener, screwdriver can opener. Flip it over here. It's got another, see, see this, it's bent. It's bent. But then it's got a corkscrew, which I would use as a weapon because I have no need for a corkscrew because I don't drink alcohol. Um, so I'd use it as a weapon. Uh, and then it has a couple of things under here. Something sharp. <laughs> anyway, it's got a toothpick and, and it's got some tweezers. It's got some tweezers. And it's got a toothpick. And I'm going to be honest, the toothpick is the thing that probably gets used the most out of everything on this, on this freaking thing. Um, but yeah, because I mean, you know, you get stuff in your teeth all the time. But a Swiss Army knife, uh, I'll link one below. This is really something that I, I, they used to be super cool back in the day. And they're not so cool now because everybody's got like those flicky flicky knives and everything else. But I think my Swiss Army knife is cool. Let's, let's move back over to this side. And we'll talk about this. Now, this is just a pen. Uh, this is a pen that some company sent to me. Um, it's not my favorite kind of pen. My favorite kind of pen is the Pilot Rollerball pens in red, medium tipped. That's the, This is black. And uh, it's not my favorite pen, but it is a nice pen. And I've, some company sent it to me. Uh, it has Sat Iron Media on there and, and where I live. <laughs> um so I, I just, this is the pen that I had around that I've been using. And then this is a moleskin. This is a, a hardcover moleskin notebook. So I like to carry one of these around everywhere. Uh, these are some notes that I made for videos. This one is not very full at this point. I used to, I used to carry this all the time. I used to have something like this all the time. But as these things became more prevalent then this thing became less useful because I could take notes and have them in here and have them everywhere. Whereas with this guy, uh, it would be in here and then I'd have to remember that it was here. I have, I have dozens and dozens and dozens of notebooks, but I still carry one just in case. So last thing that we got to talk about here is this. This is my keychain. This is my key fob for my Audi A4, 2017 Audi A4 that I that I got a while back. It is a very nice car. It is what I got instead of a Tesla. I was going to get a Tesla, but instead I decided to get an Audi. Um, the Audi is very fun to drive. Uh, it's not very stuffy like Mercedes or BMWs are. And it's just, it, it, it just, I drove a lot of things. I ended up liking this the most. The reason that I didn't get a Tesla is that there's no Tesla dealership that is anywhere near where I am. And there's no place to get them repaired. And I, I don't know. It, the fact that they wanted my credit card information before I could even like just look at the cars on their website was, it just bothered me. They wanted to charge me money before I was, before I knew I was going to, I was going to buy a car. That's not the way cars go. I've, I've, I've bought so many cars over the years. You, you haggle over the price. You, you, you know, kind of do math in your head. You try and figure out monthly payments on this car versus that car, blah, blah, blah. And the Tesla tries to make it easy, but it just makes it annoying. Um, and I just really couldn't get into it. So I drove some other things just to sort of see if there were other things that I would like. I ended up liking this Audi quite a bit. So that's what I drive now. Uh, we have a belt loop hook, hook, so when I carry this around, it goes on the belt loop, and it flaps around all over the place. We got house key and uh, and studio key, and then this guy I've had for quite a while. This is uh, it's Gibson branded here, if you can see that. Gibson branded, great guitars, uh, and it's just a little thing on your keychain for guitar picks. So I always have. Three or four guitar picks in here, just in case. Just in case, because I used to carry guitar picks in my wallet. Um, 
but then I got this with an, an acoustic guitar, so I decided that I would use it as intended. So that's my and that's my keychain. I used to have a key to my office, but I don't anymore. I just have two keys to two keys. Two keys. And that's more than enough for most people. So this here is the painfully honest tech everyday carry. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Do, I, I will put links to everything down there, and uh, if you if you have any questions, you can you can go ahead and ask those. It's I, I guess it's kind of simple. It doesn't really. I, I mean, I do, I'm a writer, I make these videos, I do a bunch of different stuff, but the tools that I need to do it aren't really too crazy. So this is what I, I carry with me just about every day. I guess you could include my, my laptop, which is over here, right over there. Uh, you can include that. I use this every day. This is my, my Rodecaster Pro uh, interface for recording podcasts and stuff. But I don't carry them in my pockets. So that's what this everyday carry is all about. Anyway, so that's that's it. That's the everyday carry. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Like I said, uh, we can have a boisterous discussion. What do you carry on an everyday basis? What do you recommend that I that I get any uh, instead or otherwise or in addition or something? Uh, those things would be really interesting to me to know down in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much for being here. If this was your first time here and you want to come back again and find see more tech-related videos, then this is the place you want to go for the painfully honest word. So go ahead and like, subscribe, bell notify yourself so you know when there's a new video coming out. And uh, yeah, you know, if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. It's, it's always great to see your face. <laughs> And uh, if you're at all interested in supporting the channel and helping me out with, with the stuff that I do and getting some good things in return, then you can click that join button down below and find out what it's like to be a channel member, all the special perks that you get. And if you want to check out the, the Painfully Honest Tech merchandise, just got brand new merchandise in, and you could you could click that thing and, and check out the merchandise as well. And uh, because I... I might be biased, but I actually really think the merchandise is pretty cool. Uh, although I haven't received mine yet, it's supposed to be here. Anyway, once again, thanks so much. My name is Jason, sometimes known as the JTL. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Until the next time, I'm out.